Starting a blog can be your way out of the corporate world. It can be your way to spend more time with your family, to be location independent and travel the world. It can be your place for creative writing. It can be so many great things, but at the beginning, everything is so overwhelming, especially the burden of making choices. Not only the technical part of the process, like which hosting provider to use, which website building platform and other things, but even a more difficult decision is to choose the blog niche or the main topic for your website. You have to think of a niche that will be profitable, but at the same time, it has to be something that you're genuinely interested in writing about. Otherwise, you will have an early burnout as a blogger. I don't know you personally, and I have no idea what you would be interested in writing about, but I can tell you what are the most profitable blogging niches out there today. Hi, I'm Anastasia, and you can find me at anastasiablogger.com. On this channel, I share my tips for starting a blog, an online business, for driving traffic from Pinterest platform, and for making money online. If that's what you want to learn more about, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get notified about my new videos. So, in this video, I will first tell you how to choose your blog niche or topic, and We'll talk about the eight most profitable niches to consider based on current trends and forecasts for this year and beyond. Let me just tell you one thing before we move on about a special offer for my followers that will help you start a blog for less than $3 a month. Check my link in the top right corner and in the description below this video. I cannot promise this offer will be available forever, so check it out while the link is here. In this video, I will not even mention choosing any technical or design elements, marketing or other content-related tasks. I will focus on the steps leading up to a topic decision or a niche decision. So the first thing you need to do is explore your interests and expertise. It is important to choose a topic or a niche for your blog that you're passionate about or at least interested in. Otherwise, it can become very tedious and very quickly. My advice is to explore the intersection of your interests and expertise or your hobbies and past experience and so on with trending topics or what might interest others. Find a problem to solve or a unique voice of yours to provide to your readers and you will be on the right track to focusing on a good and popular niche or topic for your blog. Second step in your process is thinking about monetization. So when you think about a blog topic that will make you money, you need to give some thoughts to your methods of monetization. How are you going to turn visitors of your blog and page views into source of your income? Popular options include advertising, affiliate or referral programs, making and selling your own products or services, and alternative support methods such as Patreon. Why you need to consider this in the context of blog niche ideas? Well, it's because the best monetization methods are different for different niches. For example, with a food blog or a home decor blog, the easiest way to start making money with it is with ads, display ads on your site. That's possible because in these two niches, you're able to get tons of traffic traffic from Pinterest, for example. In other more narrow or business-related topics, you will not ever get as much traffic. And in this case, making money with ads doesn't make much sense because you can offer high-ticket affiliate products or even sell your own services or digital products. The next step is thinking about your competition. You likely will want to come up with a few blog niche ideas when you brainstorm and then you need to research one by one. It's vital that you spend some time doing keyword research and looking at your competition. How will you differentiate yourself? Some of the most profitable blogging niches have a lot of competition in them already. And if you don't want to bring something unique to the table, then it might be really difficult to succeed with this blogging niche. And the next step is actually getting started with your site. After everything what I said is done, you already chose your niche, you need to actually get started on developing a plan for your blog. And this may seem obvious, but this step deserves some attention. Figure out the scope of what you intend to cover on your blog and brainstorm important topics or areas related to your blogging niche. This will help you set up and make the best choices for things like design, structure of your blog, for marketing and other steps that will come later. It's always better to have an abundance of ideas within your chosen topic rather than to have 
just a few and I'm running out of content ideas right after you started the blog. And as it comes to traffic generation to your new blog, you know that my advice is always start with Pinterest because it will give you the fastest results before even Google will start recognizing that your site even exists. If you don't know how Pinterest can help you drive traffic fast to your blog, I have a free Pinterest masterclass and you need to use the link in the top right corner in the info icon or check the link in the description below this video. And now that you know the steps for choosing a blogging niche, I will tell you what are the most profitable blogging niches for this year, according to my opinion. So the first niche is lifestyle blogs, and it's probably the broadest way of defining this blogging niche. I'm myself really confused about this term, and in the way I understand it, lifestyle blogs can include mommy or parenting blogs, as well as multi-topic blogs that explore fashion, health and fitness, beauty and makeup and other topics I will mention in this video later. Lifestyle can also include topics specific to your everyday life, professional or non-blogging career, provided that they have wide interest and appeal. It also pairs well with those of you who have extensive Instagram and Pinterest followings related to style, fashion, food and life in general. Along with this video, when I show you different niches, I'll also show you really quickly a few income reports from some of the blogs that could be categorized as one niche or another. Keep in mind that many bloggers publish income reports just a few times a year, some were posting them regularly and then stopped at some point, so all I can do in most cases is just show you the latest income report, which can often be something published maybe last year. For example, this is a blogging income report from Elena Peters for March last year. She calls herself a midlife blogger and she made about four and a half thousand dollars, mainly dis with display ads on her site, it's about four thousand, and the rest falls into other sources like affiliate income and sponsored posts. And here is Lena from What Mommy Does, and this is her income report for February 2016 when she made about nine thousand dollars, of which three thousand two hundred was her ad income, three thousand six hundred was affiliate income, and she also had some good income from sponsored posts and her own ebook. And the next niche is the food niche. That's another popular and profitable blogging topic. Naturally, food has a broad appeal, everybody needs to eat. Sorry, I just came to my kitchen to make a tea because this video seems to become too long and I need my voice to talk about the other blogging niches. By the way, that's where food bloggers spend most of their time, I guess, in the kitchen. They don't only need to invent the recipe, cook it, but also to set up the lighting and make amazing photos that will make you click on their recipe photos. And there are numerous monetization options depending on how you approach your food blog and quite an extensive world of content opportunities as well. Ideas include recipe blogs, fast meals, specific health or diet trend related blogging topics, ethnic or cultural food specialities, baking or savory focused blogs and many other ideas. Food bloggers usually make most of their income with display ads because the traffic volume has a huge potential in this niche. For example, Pinch of Yum published their income report for November 2017 when they made about $52,000 with just ads on their site. They also made about $22,000 with sponsored content, about $2,000 with affiliate links on their site and about $2,000 with their own product, a food photography ebook. Here is Cheryl from 40 Aprons blog and her income report for August 2019 when she made about $31,000 of which the majority, about 25k, was made with display ads and the rest was distributed between sponsored posts, her coaching services and products and some affiliate programs. And the next niche we're going to talk about is personal finance. Being all about money, it's also one of the most profitable niches for blogging. Everyone wants to know how to better manage their finances. It's a weak area for so many of us as K2 and higher education do not generally prepare people for the challenges of personal finance. This is an especially good blogging niche if you have experience yourself in personal finance financial mishaps or missteps or formal training in finance. The potential topics within this blogging niche are nearly unlimited. It's both evergreen and evolving. As new technologies and services innovate, the ways we earn money and we spend money and we manage money. You probably know Michelle from Making Sense of Sense. 
Her last monthly income report was published in November 2018, and it was for almost about $160,000 that she made in one month with this blog. In this niche, the majority of income usually comes from affiliate programs because bloggers in this niche often find high-ticket affiliate products. She also sold two of her courses in that month for about $38,000 each and made about $23,000 with sponsored posts. Only about $2,000 of her extraordinary income report fell on display advertising on her site. So you will see now how different are the niches in terms of monetization strategies. So in personal finance, for most of the bloggers, it doesn't even make sense to monetize only with display ads. You have so many other opportunities. This is Rosemary from Busy Budgeter blog and her last income report was published in January 2017 when she made about $86,000 and her income streams were distributed between her own products. Uh, one of her products is printable file and affiliate links and display ads. There are many other blogs with very impressive income reports in this particular niche, but I still have to cover the other four blogging niches, so let's move on to the next one. The next one is business and marketing. There are many professional blogs that focus on business and marketing, and often they do so on a very narrow slice of a sector for those topics. And while it's not at the top of our most profitable blogging niches for this year, it's a fairly evergreen topic with a lot of potential. Depending on the approach you choose to take, you have a decently large audience built in that will be interested in your content. And unlike some other blog niches, business and marketing also presents a wealth of opportunities for guest posting, backlinks, and driving traffic through established industry or trade group sites making the marketing and outreach portion of running your blog much easier. I would say that Pat Flynn's blog, Smart Passive Income, is the perfect example of, the, of that niche because if we look at his income reports, which he published for a very long time, and I just picked one of his income reports for December 2017, he makes the majority of his income, which is usually above way above $100,000 from affiliate links on various online marketing tools and digital products that teach people all things about marketing and business. He also made about $40,000 selling his own courses and the main one of them is the course about podcasts and how to use them to promote your business. And I'm not really sure into which niche I should put my own blog because I have a pretty wild mix of niches and topics on my blog, but if you'd like to know what were the main income streams for my $25,000 income report. I published it in January this year. I have a link for you in the top right corner and in the description below this video. And the next niche I have to cover here is the health and fitness niche. Year after year, health and fitness remain high demand blog topics. It's a pretty broad way to define the niche, which includes diet, nutrition, exercise routines, fitness equipment, and many more things within this niche. And all these topics offer the potential for easy monetization. Just a little note or a small tip from me if you are interested in this niche. Do not focus your entire blog on a particular diet or fitness technique, as those things tend to be changing frequently and so you will be focused too much on one thing and you cannot change the topic in the future. Here is Tammy from Organize Yourself Skinny blog and her latest income report for April 2016. She made about $9,000 that month, of which the majority, about $5,000, she made with display ads on her site and the rest was distributed between affiliate products and her own ebook. Before we move on to the next blogging niche, just one note for those of you who are thinking about starting a blog but feel completely lost in all the technical stuff and you have no idea how you could make money blogging. I have a free course that will walk you through all of this process in about one week. I will give you a link to the course in the top right corner and in the description below this video. Now, the next niche is fashion and beauty. In terms of blogging niche ideas, fashion is a wide open world. It may cross over with several other topics, 
on our niche list, but you can get extremely specific and personal in your fashion blogging. You could focus on your own sense of style or highlight specific looks or designers. Perhaps you're more interested in bargain fashion and putting together the best haul for the lowest price. This category has so many potential opportunities as well as synergies with Pinterest and YouTube content, especially if you have an existing audience for unboxing, haul videos, wardrobe or design looks or anything like that. This is actually an interesting example of a man's style blog called The Modest Man. The author of this blog shares he made about $8.5,000 with his blog in January 2017. A big chunk of his income that month was from sponsorships. It was over $3.5,000 and then from display ads on his site. Then about $2,000 he made with affiliate links from Reward Style and Amazon and some income came from selling his own ebook. Susanna Rose posted her income report for November 2017 when she made about $17,000 with her fashion blog. About $8.7,000 of this income came from display ads on her site and then she made about $7,000 with various affiliate programs and $1,000 with sponsored content. Now, niche number seven is travel blogs. They remain very popular, but we don't know how the world will live after this pandemic as many travel bloggers and traffic to their sites was affected truly in this period. Even though this year the niche will be definitely affected, I will hope that the travel niche will remain one of the most profitable niches in the years to come. This travel blog called Local Adventurer made over $25,000 in November 2019. The majority of the income for many travel bloggers comes from sponsored content and for this blog it was about $15,000 in that month. Then they also made about $8,000 with display ads and some money they made with affiliate links. Now, niche number eight is DIY and home decor. It's also a fairly large blogging niche that includes DIY, home improvement, all the way down to specific crafts or specialities like knitting, pottery, and more. If you create and sell items that you make, this is an ideal blogging niche for you to choose. And also, if you're a trained expert in carpentry, plumbing, electrical or auto repair, or any other home improvement skills, and you can bring that expertise to an approachable and informative blog, then you should also look at this niche. Debbie from The Flooring Girl now makes consistently over $20,000 a month with her blog. She earns an average of about $7,000 per month only with Amazon affiliate links on her site. She also makes a few more thousand dollars on other affiliate programs and about $7,000 with display ads on her site. In the month when this income report was published, she also made about $6,000 selling her own ebook for beginner bloggers. This blogger from Surella.com published her latest income report. It was about $9,000 and 5.5 of it was made with display ads and the rest was distributed between affiliate programs, YouTube ad income and her own products sold on Etsy. Jennifer from Jennifer Maker published her latest income report on the blog in 2017 when she made almost $15,000. She's been doing incredibly well with all her income streams in the next months. I know it because I'm signed up for her email list and that's where she keeps sharing her income reports even though she doesn't update them on the site. In that particular month in 2017, she made the majority of her income with her own product that is targeting people who like cricket machines and would like to learn how to use them. My mind is completely blown away when I think that it's possible to sell products to such a narrow audience and moreover, in some of her latest income reports from December 2019, which she shared by email only, she made about $40,000 in one month only with display ads on her DIY blog. So I hope that after watching this video and especially after looking at the story about Jennifer Maker, you're not going to think that only bloggers in personal finance niche can make really good money. Oftentimes, we don't even know much about profitable niches just because these bloggers don't share their income reports and they don't sell any blogging courses. If you want to learn more about how to monetize your blog, I will give you a link to my other video focused on monetization strategies in the top right corner and in the description below this video. And if you have any questions you'd like to ask me, 
The best way to do it is to go in the comment section below this video. And before you close this page, check my other videos, which are perfectly complementary to what I was sharing with you today. See you in the next videos!